Blog gang, gang talking. Gang talking episode 40, man. In the building. You already know it's your boy Jay Stu. Cross from me. You got T Raw. Gang, gang, gang. You already know it, dog. Going on, man. And we brought a returning guest. Lori in the building. Hey, what's up? What's up, everybody? Yes, yes sir. Yes, yes, yes. So we got a special topic today. We're talking about SMS awareness. For anyone who doesn't know, that is short model syndrome. All right? Correct, correct. And she's the big brand ambassador over here for short model syndrome. So yes. I'm going to actually give you the floor so you can explain what? what short model syndrome is. Absolutely. Hey, mm -hmm. guys. Thanks again for having me, first oh, off. Yes, yes ma'am. Great guest. Great guest. <laughs> Episode 20 was fire. Thank you. Thank Fact you. Show. Coming back again today, this time we're talking about SMS. So SMS stands for, like he mentioned, short model syndrome. Mm -hmm. It's a new project pretty much that I'm trying to bring more awareness for. Yeah. Um, not just for short people. It can be for a variety of people, short, small, tall, curvy. So it's just a project to bring awareness about the limitations and certain setbacks and hardships that some of us may face within the model industry. Because mm. of us not fitting like the ideal yeah. spectrums, requirements, and what society looks for as a model. Yeah. Perhaps. Yeah. You know, um, it's always been that way since I was a kid. I've seen where women would say, oh, if I'm a certain size, I can't model. Right. Like, you know, they never look for fat women to model. And <laughs> there's nothing wrong. I, I, I Curvy. Curvy women, curvy, curvy, <laughs> voluptuous, I, I, plus size. Plus plus size. size. I'm a little blunt. You know what I'm <laughs> not they wrong with the, that. They say the truth hurts. <laughs> if you don't like it, you gotta fix it. And it's okay. okay. It's okay. We some people label it as variety thing. I'm a slim model, but somebody might say skinny. Yeah. Right. So I get where you're going. It's just yeah. they're, they're called plus size models. Plus so size, for women size. who are of a bigger size and a little bit more curved, they fall within the plus model plus size model category. Yeah. And that wasn't a lane. Like that you wasn't said. a lane before. Yeah, it was always curvy, petite <laughs> girls, you know, women who are certain height as well. Mm -hmm. Just like what you're saying, short model. Mm -hmm. Right? You had to be like five seven as the minimum requirement to starting. Be model. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so like little things like that. I've always seen like my cousin is she was trying to be a model. Mm -hmm. I mean she obviously changed career paths, but um you know, I just thought it was kind of cutthroat. Mm -hmm. You know, it what I'm is. Saying? It is a cutthroat yeah. business, and that's where for me, I wanted to bring more awareness to it because a lot of people don't talk about it. We mm -hmm. might talk about it at home or with our friends or just amongst each other, or just kind of have that feeling inside. But there is no platform where you're seeing people willing to go against the grain. But you know, I felt like that's my position. Yeah, I feel like it's hit home for me because I feel like my I identify as a short model, a slim model, and a black model. Yeah. So for me, I'm already put in a category that's different from a lot of people. people yeah. So I just want more people to relate and to know like, hey, no matter which ID you identify mm -hmm. as, you can still be a model regardless. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, it goes for anything in life. Like we, we talk about on the episode Finding Yourself. That's mm -hmm. out now, by the way. Nice, nice. Check um, it out. It's all about discovering your strengths. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want out of life, that's your book. That's the story you're given to write. Like sometimes you may put all your eggs in one basket and go full throttle somewhere mm -hmm. and you get redirected, but it's never going to be far off from what you ventured into. Right. It's exactly. going to be like a different aspect of it, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I always say like, you just go into anything you're doing and just go full strong. Don't, don't give up. Don't not think that you are not going to find your way. You're going to figure it out. Mm -hmm. you know so <laughs> you have to be a trendsetter everything that mm -hmm. started that became a different out of the norm mm -hmm. you know, somebody started that somebody made a way for it just like the plus size model somebody had mm -hmm. to make a way to be an example for exactly. that to become a lane to give awareness and for that to be something mm -hmm. that more people want to gravitate to exactly. so for me it's just bringing more diversity into the model industry that's yeah. what we need it started because you see a lot of you know, you'll see like different models that have like the skin pigmentation thing going on or yeah. the gap teeth yeah. or the this or the that. So it's starting to, to open up. But we just we trying to bust the door wide open. Oh, yeah, we're trying to bust it open. Like, well, what's his name again? She's dating Kyle Kuzma. That Winnie. I know. He's, Winnie. I don't be knowing any Instagram models. Her name is Winnie. <laughs> yeah, Winnie she... something. She has like the Bill Lago where. 
correct. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Winnie yeah. Harlow? When your Harlow. skin is two different shades. Yeah, correct, different shades. correct. And she's killing it. She's a beautiful model. Mm -hmm. But that is a, an example of diversity because tell me back in the day, when, when, when did you see somebody like that on a cover of a magazine? Never. Walking down somebody runway. Right, never. Because you'd look at them like, oh. Something's going on with their skin. Just, just black in general. I, yeah. I, for me, it started off Tyra Banks, Naomi Campbell, Eva. I thought I had a chance. Eva came in, y'all. She a little short, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, though. Like, I think over time, we redefine what is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, it used to be dark skin. If you remember, me growing up, dark skin was yeah. not in. Right. Definitely, definitely. You know, it was always... <laughs> Light is right. <laughs> Light is right. In, in fact, in my culture, Jamaica, mm -hmm. a lot of Jamaicans bleach their skin mm -hmm. because to be lighter is more acceptable. Correct. You and know? that's what society kind of <laughs> build and, and formulated, like you said, and that's what we're trying to change mm -hmm. because the lighter you is that seem to be put you in a category and give you an opportunity than over somebody else. Exactly. Yeah, but it, it can't be about that. And that's what SMS is about. You don't have to fit into a certain category mm -hmm. to feel like you are somebody or that you have the potential to still make it. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, we might have it a little harder, right? Because yeah. there's not as many opportunities, but that doesn't mean not try. You still want to try. There's exactly. still a lane. Yeah. You know, there's that lane for the shorter girls. I get what you're saying. Anything so. short. Light skin, dark skin, because like you pointed out, in the model industry, you don't see a lot of black, dark skin women mm -hmm. on covers that's making it that successful. You see a more typical of a light skin or a white woman. Yeah. 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 So you yeah. can be brown. You can be a little darker. Than mean, we're going to have to change the anagram. Then. It's going to have to be changed from short model to like. No. All model see, syndrome. short model. <laughs> <laughs> short model syndrome is the tag. That's the primary yeah. tag. That's to get you like, dang, short model syndrome. Dang. But yeah. that's just one ID of mm -hmm. model syndrome. Yeah. That's yeah, yeah. where I'm wanting to bring it awareness. Or even though I'm putting short model syndrome, you might be a curvy model. With mm -hmm. the same syndrome. Yeah, who might be short and fat, yeah. Oh. <laughs> curvy. <laughs> curvy, oh, yes. He, he might have a thing for plus size. I'm telling y'all, he, he talking about the plus size was a lot. But but no, at the end of the day, it's, it's just letting you know, SMS is just mm -hmm. the primary stamp. Yeah, but the project itself is not dedicated only to short. short yeah, it's awareness for anyone that may be having any form of a model syndrome. Yeah. I'm just setting the foundation for short model syndrome. Mm -hmm. You okay. know, so yeah. it's good. So if we can get a little backstory, like what made you start modeling? Um, well, I really got full fledged into it within the last two to three years. It's always been something I was passionate about. My aunt, yeah. when I was younger, used to always tell me, oh, you walk like a model, you have nice legs. So yeah. that kind of stuck with me. And so within the last few years, I was like, you know what? I want to do something that means something to me, something that I feel like I can connect to so I can f gain more confidence. Because mm -hmm. I, I had trouble. I'm, I'm this You're big. Human. Human. I'm human. We yeah. all kind of doubted ourselves so or felt like set back. Out of the blue, like you just got up one day and you're like, you know what? I'm going to go full in. I'm going to go full in. I kind of mm. think after I was having like some personal life changes. Mm. And with that, it was like, you know what? I want to find myself. Yeah. And in finding myself, I want to do something that matters burr, to me. Burr, burr. Mm -hmm. So in that, I'm like, you know what? I didn't have the chance to really explore being a model because I was a mom, I was working, I was always yeah. this, that, trying to be somebody wife, all of the above. But I had to take a step back and say, you know, what? I want to do something for me. Yeah. And when I thought about that, that's when kind of end of last year, beginning of this year, I was like, let me really make a separate lane, a, a platform for me to be able to roll with. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I can relate with that. And so what was like your first step like? Like, like, imagine I told you, hey, I want to be a model. Mm -hmm. I don't even know where to start. What would you tell me? What would you tell me? <laughs> well, first one, thing first thing is, I would say, one, look in the mirror and take a deep breath and find out mm -hmm. why mm -hmm. you want to be a model. Is it just for you? Mm -hmm. um, is it for somebody else? Mm -hmm. Is it because you want to show that you're confident? So find out what, why you want to so model. Yeah. Right? 
from there, then it's like, okay, I, I want to model because I, I just want to take nice pictures. Or I just want to, I like to be in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. Or I just want to, you know, any of that. All right. So then you need to find a good photographer. Mm -hmm. Somebody that can take nice pictures. Mm -hmm. Good quality. Um, so try to find a good photographer. Yeah. Um, maybe look and do some research on some other models. Because there's yeah. different styles of modeling. There's runway. There's commercial. There's print. So you kind of want to figure out which lane you want to go in. Yeah. And that kind of goes into what your assets are. Because mm -hmm. me being short, I can't just jump to say I want to do runway. Exactly, but yeah. I've done runway in my past. I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. That's where that stigmatism comes in, being tall, being short. Mm -hmm. So you just kind of want to feel out what your lane is mm -hmm. and then kind of go from there. And go from there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you need to get an agent or anything like that? No, I'm a freelance <laughs> model. Mm -hmm. There are agencies that's out here. So there's different models that go and sign up with different agencies. And there's nothing against that. You can also get connected with like a, a management yeah. team. Somebody that just, just can manage you, just kind of help you with castings or runway coaches. So there's various mm -hmm. coaching and assistance that you can get. Me personally, I've kind of built from the ground up. Yeah. I'm from the ground up. So it's just kind of me networking and working with different people and just kind of falling into projects and just like oh snap and learning yeah. from there i didn't have a coach yeah actually to stick a tab in that you said falling into projects i seen a project where you were working with uh actually one of my what a close person somebody <laughs> i wouldn't want to say friend but somebody who i know as well um and that would be ruben brown i saw you guys did a like a shoot together yes yes so yes, how did that ruben. come about Hey, and shout outs to Ruben. He is yeah. actually really great. And that kind of was a falling into a project situation. Mm -hmm. So B Fly, B Fly um, Photos, B Fly Collection, there's a whole brand. Yeah. They did a power shoot. Oh, okay. They did up, um, they put up a post in because I follow um, their page. Yeah. They put up a post in and said, hey, they were having a power shoot down in um, Fort Lauderdale. And I'm like, hey, let's go for it. Mm -hmm. Went there, boom. Networking, there's Ruben. I end up having a, <laughs> one of the photographers was like, Hey, um, I have one of my actor guys yeah. and he's a model. You guys would do good together on certain pictures. So it was just building the theme. But that's that's literally mm -hmm. how I met Ruben. Okay. Yeah. Running yeah. into a project. Yeah. You networking. meet models, networking. Exactly. And that's why so, I'm for exactly. that. Yeah. You never know who you can meet in, exactly. in surroundings. Even at that shoot, I met Ruben. I met Mama 305, which is Mike Smith's mom, oh, wow. just oh, off of okay. a humdum. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just being somewhere at the right time. So Deciding you never to take know. a chance on yourself. Exactly. Because yeah. I was kind of like, ah, I don't know. Exactly. I don't know the location. Yeah, I don't know these people. Like, I don't yeah. know these people. I'm not going to be comfortable. Mm -hmm. But listen, the only way we grow in life is when you are willing to be uncomfortable. Exactly. Yeah. You take have to risk. get out of your comfort zone exactly. and, and take a risk, like you say, and, and do things that nobody else probably want to do or that somebody is afraid to do. You have to kind of step out and, and make that. Right. Exactly. Make it matter. Exactly. You know, and that's how she's going to push the short model awareness. Exactly. You know what that's what I'm doing. Bringing awareness. Short model syndrome. Exactly. Don't have to be short. Tall, curvy, slim, tall, age. It don't matter. Mm -hmm. Own your ID. You know, and that's one thing I could say. Um, Throughout my time working with you, um, even the last shoot, mm -hmm. like my energy that day wasn't as high as it usually is. Mm -hmm. So I came in there and I'm like, you know what? Because people were canceling. I told you I had like 10. I had originally set up for 10 people. Oh, wow. So it would have been five girls, five boys. Mm -hmm. And when I seen, lo and behold, this man here told me, yeah. <laughs> like, I just had a bad feeling. I'm like, bro, if he go cancel, I have a feeling more people just go to mm -hmm. And that, heck, and that happens, go. yeah. Exactly. And then it, it worked out that way where it didn't really have, it didn't happen the way I envisioned it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, instead of like getting hung up on it, like the the positive energy, mm -hmm. like you brought positive energy that day. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. You know, and then it was kind of like, it was kind of infectious because I was like, you know what? Let me not get hung up <laughs> on the fact that I didn't get my vision done. Right. But there's still a vision that can be created yes. with what you have. With what we have. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And you can't get, like you said, set back on it not going the way when that you, you had planned it. Because exactly. what you thought yeah. probably was how it needed to be, probably wasn't. It happened how it's supposed to be. Right. So with mm -hmm. the small group, it doesn't always matter about how many people you have. 
you can have two people, but the quality of those two people make what you try to happen. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And that's all success. that matters. Exactly. It was, and it was definitely successful. I yeah. had a great time at that show. Yeah, no, it was great. It was fun. You know, and that's what the thing I'm learning is like to just kind of roll with the punches. Because I'm the type, I'm a perfectionist. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I don't want to put my name on nothing unless I'm, like, proud of it. Right. You know? Which is understandable. Yeah. We, we don't want to put our name on a bag of crap. <laughs> 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 but I get what you're saying. It's like, yeah. if you're going to be involved, you want it to, to be right. Exactly. So that's, that. I get yeah. it. And then, you know, that's, that's another thing. Like, being a small business, um, the way how I am selling merchandise and stuff like that. It helps when I know people who already do models mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because people who are who aren't models already or they don't take pictures mm -hmm. is like pulling teeth trying to convince them. Hey, like, they'll say yeah, but they don't really want to because in the back of their mind they're already scared. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm mean? like, oh, I'm gonna be uncomfortable. Right. And it's not gonna look good, and he's gonna be disappointed. Mm -hmm. Like I've heard a lot of different stuff. You know? Correct. Because there's that self doubt. So, oh, you know, I'm nervous. Oh, I'm scared. Or I've never done this before. I got to be on camera. Or people going to see this. So yeah. immediately we kind of get like this. Yeah, yeah. But then you got to relax and, and, and put your shoulders down and just kind of have. Yourself. Yeah, be, be yourself. Nobody would even ask you to be this opportunity if you didn't look like you could be the part. Exactly, right? exactly, exactly. And that's where people didn't have to believe in themselves. It's definitely, if somebody brings something to you, that means they've mm -hmm. seen something that you probably didn't see. Exactly, yeah. You just have to go with it. Yeah. But it still turned out great. It, no, it turned, turned out, out great. It turned, it, out, it turned, out, turned out, out really good. Like all the shots there were fun, good shots. So I kind of liked it. And then know. bringing the jokes, making everybody laugh, you know, lightening the mood. Yeah, with exactly. The group of people that we had, it was awesome. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. And we're gonna have better ones in the future. It can only get better. Definitely. Definitely. You know, You're gonna be at the next one, right? Yeah, most definitely. <laughs> No, you know, I, I, I gotta I gotta bring the vibes. Right. You know? I gotta bring the vibes. I can't just be the only one sprinkling good vibes around. Like, we need I need some help. I need some help. Oh, help. <laughs> oh my goodness, uh, man. But no, even then I, I appreciate it because at that time we had the conversation about, you know, wanting to even have this podcast session that we're having now mm -hmm. to bring awareness to my project. So I exactly. thank you for giving me the platform, you know, exactly. to be able to, to, to yeah. do this. No, I, one thing about me is I seen that you're putting in the work, mm -hmm. right? Like I may not always comment, but I see, I see it. Like it'll yeah. come up on my timeline and mm -hmm. I'm like, Oh damn, like she's working. And so when I see somebody working, like I want to support Right. Like, especially if we say that we're cool, like we support each other. Correct. Then I'm supposed to give you the same support that you're giving me. Right. That's Which true. Which is just only natural. That's so true. So I just look at it like, all right, you know, she's pushing this message and we do this podcast every day. And, you know, it's going to be a fun, hilarious conversation anyway. So let's right. just bring yeah. some awareness. Might as well. Exactly. That's good. Yeah. So. That's awesome. I appreciate it. Yeah, I have a course. question for you guys. Did you guys know what the average height is in the United States? For men? It's for, five, men. Seven. for men? Five, for men? As of 2023. Oh, as of 2000. I think it's probably like 5'8". Five, five, for men and then what I do you think for say, women? I want to say six foot. I don't know. So you think yeah. six foot you for men? You think it went up? Yeah. You know, I'm a short nigga. <laughs> I still say five, so you seven. say five seven, you say six foot average, and yeah. then what do y'all think about women? What do y'all think the average height is for women? Five two, five three. Okay. For women, mm -hmm. uh, average. Women come shorter. So um, oh, you saying for for to be a model, right? Just a nope. No, average, average height. Oh, okay. Because yeah. remember, before oh, okay, being a model, okay. your height matters, right? I thought, so, I thought we was talking about models. Okay, so <laughs> just in general, I gotta change my answer. Then. Are we so I for like men, <laughs> for men, the average height like five eight. Five, okay. Eight. Um, for women, I say um, five five. Okay. What about you? I say five seven. Five seven for, for, men. for men. Okay. And five three for women. You guys are pretty close. You yeah. guys are pretty close. So, um, as of 2023 in the United States, the average height for a woman is five four. <laughs> and the average right height there. for men <laughs> is five nine. 
Oh, I'm <laughs> there on both. Five so, nine now. Five yeah. nine now yeah. is the average height of a man, and five four is the average height of a woman. Good job, y'all niggas. Y'all got <laughs> two inches. <laughs> 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 so boy, I is something. But I brought that up just to, for the sake of, because when I was doing my research for the project, I'm like, you know what? Yeah. These casters, they always want, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. five seven, five eight, five nine for women and men, and it, and yeah. the average height don't even match that. Yeah. It's five four. So tell me, what group of people y'all looking for? Yeah. But you see, that's why I say that. Ex <laughs> um, if your personality is exceptional, mm -hmm. you can outsell it. Like Kevin Hart, short dude, but he get casted. If he said today, I'll audition for your movie, mm -hmm. people will drop what they're doing again. Definitely, because it's yeah. present. He, yeah. he, 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 yeah. he doesn't come in like I'm that little short five yeah. something. His presence it's gives like, you yeah. I'm a giant, yeah. and that's what SMS is about: yeah. being a giant in whatever it is, exactly. feeling confident in whatever it is that you're doing, exactly. not feeling like oh because I'm this I can't. There, yeah. We breaking limitations. We yeah, breaking man. them down. We trying we to break down limitations. limitations. Right. Right. If y'all listen, if y'all having any struggles with any of the things we're talking about, tap into finding yourself the yep. episode, okay? Definitely. We go over pointers where you can start if you're feeling lost today and how you can feel like you're better for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. right. right. Because that's what this is all about. Like, yeah. Life gives people all types of cars. I've seen people with one arm and they're still going pro. There's this dude... Pro player. Yeah, one, hassle. Yeah, he know. Mm -hmm. He got one arm and he's selected to be in the draft to the end. Nice. So yeah. it's kind of like, who are you to limit yourself? Right. right. And you I'm sure you? he had more of a struggle and in, 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 in doubts and all sorts of things. Yeah, people right. tell because him he ain't going to be stuck. Like, people you are already 50% of less of what somebody else this has to already. bring to a position. So exactly. you have to definitely buckle down and believe in yourself. So that's right. amazing. Exactly. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Self love, self awareness, self care, self -care. all of that. Exactly. Finding yourself, find yourself, and press forward into that. Exactly. I like it. You know, um, I think we've uh, covered a lot on this. We did. We have. I hope you guys enjoyed this topic. Absolutely. Yes, sir. And if you guys want to hear more about this, tap in with Lori Chanel at Miss Lori Chanel on IG. That I'll is cool. Yes, right sir. Here. Yeah, and if you want to support the movement and follow the short model syndrome or become part of the SMS gang, also Facebook and Instagram, mm -hmm. short model syndrome. Yes, there you have it. All right, we tapped out for this one. All right, man, vlog gang reaction time, man. Y'all ready? So what you got for us, Trent? Uh, first off, it says, this got to stop. Where in her right mind did she think this was okay? Oh, oh Lord. There we go. Oh, smart. <laughs> this it. cover photo. Y'all already see it. <laughs> These BBLs killing y'all. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus, have oh, oh, my God. Wow. Eyes don't match. Yeah. Well, 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 well. <laughs> Turn to your you neighbor and say, like These BBLs killing y'all. What the heck? Oh, my God. Man, that shit just look nasty. She took all of her legs and put it in her ass. <laughs> I don't know what's worse. That one or the one we seen with the big boot lady. Oh, no. That was terrible. <laughs> her titty popped. Yeah. Because she has... Her tits are probably like this. From yeah. where I'm sitting mm -hmm. to this. Yeah. And one of them popped. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I, that just hurt my eyes. It's just what? hard to look at. It's just hard to look at. I don't know what I'm looking at. Is I don't know. But this this goes back to what we were talking about being so uncomfortable in your own skin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That you think that changing yourself mm -hmm. this bad mm -hmm. is going to make you closer to being beautiful. Yeah. And that's why it's like find that back to finding yourself mm -hmm. and checking in with the. Who am I doing this for and why? Exactly. Because yeah. are you doing all these body alters for yourself or so you can fit in? Exactly. Right. And then if you ain't got a friend to kind of tell you, yeah. you know, calm it down. A yeah. high is looking, yeah. you know, if I it's mean, looking good or not. I think most people, people, <laughs> at this point, I think most people would be afraid <laughs> to tell her because all that money she done spent. Yeah. What? Imagine Choose you go tell friends. 
fuck. You know what I'm saying? What? And, and think about your decisions before you do it. If you want to do any alterations, that's fine. We ain't causing no judgment, but just make sure you're doing it for you. Yeah. For the right reason. Make sure you're doing the right way. And if it's in the healthy way, make sure it make sure that it is the it, it, you're healthy doing yeah. it. You're gonna be healthy after doing it. Also, you know, I, I, I'm I'm a just trust. I'm a I'm a zip. It's hard to get into that topic of body modification. Yeah, yeah it really is, right. and I feel like it's only gonna get worse because I seen they they're making procedures for guys who need penis enlargement mm -hmm. literally they're putting filler wow yeah and it's like if you're a man and you're feeling that self-conscious you actually need to look within but see they're pushing to, to do the more of the change versus the looking in within yeah that's the problem <laughs> i feel like men shouldn't even care about their parents person we've already nah. talked about it yeah this. yeah yeah like the the extra shit <laughs> like the who he said got his body done again uh, Bandman Kevo. Bandman Kevo. Mm -hmm. yeah. Instead of going to the gym mm -hmm. and like growing his mental strength, mm -hmm. because that's what men really need mental strength to deal with life. Mm -hmm. And I think in general, everybody needs mental strength. Yeah. To reset in, general, here. in general, yeah. But, but I, I know that women can be a little see the bit man more in the workout. emotional. Yeah. And so it, it tends for them to go into this route where mm -hmm. they'll mess around and see how they can. Manipulator the, makes yeah, make their body bit better. <laughs> With men, though, it shouldn't be that way. If you're fat today, start changing your diet. Start working out and running. Facts. The more mm -hmm. older we get, it's only till you reach like your 60s, 70s that like it's harder to not lose mm -hmm. weight. But men, we have that advantage. And no matter what, how ugly you look, when you have a six pack, any girl is going to look at you and be like, oh, wow, like he looks good. Because yeah. He's taking care of his mental. Mm -hmm. Right. It takes mental strength to work out. To adjust the physical. Exactly. Yeah. So I don't I don't know where they where the guy's mind is. Uh, I'm I'm shocked to hear about the, the the men, you know. Going and getting changes. Getting all these changes and adjustments and stuff. It's so not even as bad as the, the, the weird queer dudes that I see like on the street. And I like I, I don't I don't mind listen, I tell everybody this. Do you. I don't care. Just don't be overt with it. Don't try to push it on me. I went yeah. to the Apple store mm -hmm. and Buddy came over me with his painted nails and mm -hmm. weird kind of like semi quasi female mm -hmm. energy mm -hmm. and was all here like putting his hand on my shoulder. I'm like, bro. When it's he, just when boundaries that, and respect. Bro, when he did that, I just had to look at him. I said, do I know you? Mm -hmm. Like, please remove your hand. Right. And right. that action, I, it, like you said, it had nothing to do more so with who did it. It's you touching me in yeah. general. I don't yeah. know you. We, we, yeah. we're, I'm in a place of business. I'm in a place right. of business. I don't think anybody should just feel so, hey, you know, yeah. Yeah. regardless of what it is. Whatever, but, exactly. Yeah. And it's kind of like you're going from this and now you're saying, oh, if you have a problem with me? I said, no, I don't have a problem with you. I'm here to get my thing repaired. Mm -hmm. right? Guy comes up. He's like, I think he has a problem with me because I put my hands with the nail polish. She was looking at my nail polish. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, that's where again with yeah. society and just individuals and I people. I think he it, was it, already it. self conscious mm -hmm. because of why are you now demonizing me for looking at you like because you put your hand on you? Yeah, and sometimes yeah. people do that. We all at some point for different things too. Yeah, when you have that self doubt or you're depressed or you just may not. I wouldn't say that when you're not a hundred percent confident. With who you are looking at in the mirror, exactly. no matter how accessorized you are or what I put on, if I still feel away, then you feel away. Exactly. That yes. has nothing to do with the person that you're interacting with. It comes, it starts here. Facts. Yeah. It's not what you got on; it's who you are inside. Exactly. You know, that's what I always say. It's not. It's it's not on me. It's in me. Mm -hmm. Facts. You feel me? I don't wear clothes and try to act like I'm fresh. I believe I'm fresh. Without the clothes. Right. And, right. and I just, mm -hmm. those are accessories. The exactly. clothes, I make the clothes look good, not the clothes make me look good. Exactly. Right. right. Exactly. Switch the narrative. That's exactly. all. Yeah. That's crazy, though. It is. <laughs> Let's see this one here. All right. Moving on. Man walking around attacking random people 
get some quick karma. Oh my goodness, you're just walking around attacking people? <laughs> what? We're not, we're not safe. Random people. <laughs> oh, this is getting crazy. What? Oh, oh, oh my god. He definitely just rolled up on the guy. He was taking that. Yeah, he, he kind of. He like he, he on, on something. He on that block. Yeah, he on something. Oh my goodness. He only got one shoe. Oh no! Oh no! Nah, he, he got. Got got two he just bam. Is that a security officer? Oh. Is she with him? Yeah. But she acted like she with him, like she know him or something. You get what I'm saying? Look how she following behind him. That might be her man. That's why I to say violence. Oh, oh, oh! oh. oh, oh. Dr. Zab. One, two. <laughs> with the one, two. <laughs> Yo. Oh shit. Yo. Oh shit. <laughs> he was messing with the wrong dude, right? That what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Boom. Wait boop. until he leaned in. Boop, boop. Jeez. Yeah, then the guy, you see the guy over him. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah. I seen that. He pointed at him. <laughs> <laughs> you got knocked though. Ah. Oh. <laughs> then all Friday. See, straight out of Friday. Yeah. Friday. Yeah. 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 Damn. Oh, <laughs> That's what's gonna happen if you walk up on VG on the strip. Don't walk up on people. Don't walk up on us on the strip, bro. Don't walk up on people. <laughs> All right, so it says streets don't play. Dude gets jumped by a mob of people. What? What? What's going on in all these clips? Man? I, I don't. Just over here fighting. These what? Are, yeah. Some... Oh. I don't know. Some street brawl. Uh, no, this ain't even a oh, park. Yeah, this is a park. <laughs> oh. Definitely. Oh, my goodness. Oh, There's so many people and oh, not a lot. Oh, oh, oh. 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 You know, that's that one thing I would oh. happening to me. Getting stomped out on the ground. Yeah, oh, I don't yeah. Want, I feel like yeah. you might. People don't. I don't know. I think about that episode Breaking of Martin when he got smushed yeah. on the wall. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how you that gonna look if yeah. everybody stomped your behind. Yeah, <laughs> nigga had lumps. He had the lumps. <laughs> I remember that one. No, that was the funny episode. That's how you gonna look. Yeah. <laughs> to get stomped out like What? Uh, or uh, don't be a menace when they turn buddy to a pancake. Yes, Just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's right, all so I'm visualizing <laughs> when you say get stomped out. Oh my god! That's <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Scary, so, scary dude must have felt so much relief after this mm -mm. was forced out of his ear. I already know it's some kind of bug. Oh, it's, yeah, it it's has to be. be. But yeah. you'll be, that's why I'd be afraid you, of stuff flying in your ear or yeah, going your body. I'd be scared of that. Seriously. You sleep or something just going in your ear. your ears. Yeah. And, mm, have eggs and hatch and stuff. I don't know. Yeah. Just, you never know. You never know. Yeah. Even going through water in the ocean. Oh, 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 oh my God. That's a whole little spider. Oh my gosh. Not a little spider, a whole huge spider. Okay, that that looked like a black widow. Oh my gosh. Woo! That looked like a black widow. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That oh. shit bite your ass. Is he sleep though? Or is he up in this video? No, nah, it looked like he up. Oh uh, my gosh. You know how they be at the doctor? Oh my goodness, yeah. Jesus. That oh my yeah. That was nasty. That's creepy. Scary. That's a spider, spider in your ear. Oh, oh here, I would have think that the thing that had babies. I got. I'm even having goosebumps. Yeah, you yeah, see this. <laughs> no, no, no. Heck no. So, oh. Uh, shake my head. Karen <laughs> erupts into a racist tirade because restaurants TV was on the Spanish station. Oh, oh these Karens. Be gosh. So these characters be so funny. She got mad because they're watching the Spanish channel. <laughs> hey, I've been in the for 55 years. Guess what, motherfucker? You're out of business. Yeah, motherfucker, you're yeah, out of business. Yeah, you are. I've been in the for 55 years. Ah, uh, it's just a little video. My grandmother. And my grandmother. That, so you can actually say 200 years. You want to tell me Spanish on your TV? 
What's wrong with that? Because you're not American, dude. I will look you the fuck up to get you the fuck out of our town. Wow. Okay. And then when the police come. I'm not giving my money to something illegal. Right. Part of the name is legal immigrant. You're in America. You're supposed to learn English. Wow. Well, then you like Spanish on your TV. That's a fuck you. You Americans, dude. Wow. My fucking father was a World War II veteran. Do that until right. You got that? He's a right now. He's making money. And you're going to do this kind of shit. Oh, my God. Is she at a, a Spanish restaurant? Yeah. No, you don't, you don't understand. You're an ignorant. That's what you are. You're an ignorant. Is she, she said somebody ignorant? Or? That's what you are. Oh. Okay. Can't, she can't even say it. Mm. Yeah. 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 I should go demand a star You probably even know what that means. Oh my goodness. And she's videotaping me. Yeah, because you're racist. You're racist. Yeah, you're a victim. You're a racist. You're a victim. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. You're a victim. 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 You're the issue was with the guy. She now she, 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 she has issues with the lady. Yeah. Yeah. So now she done pull her attention to say, "Oh, they got me on camera now." Yeah. So now let's push though. the energy to this. Keep videotaping right. what you were just saying. I would like, I would like a refund because you all, you're. I'm not Amy. And I'm being bullied by these people. Bullied? Bullied? Oh my god. I'm being bullied by these people. Now she's trying to play the game. Exactly. <laughs> That's what all the kids do. Yeah. Like, 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 we see like, the video like, where the nigga was outside and he was doing work and she started Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See that? What? Because I am white. No, no, no. We're calling you racist. I am not Mrs. Blue Hair. I am not racist. 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 I am not racist
Stay woke. <laughs> so who's at fault here? Imagine getting your brand new car delivered to your home and then this happened. Oh shit. This look like a crash. I think I seen something finna happen. I think I seen well, I never watched it, but I seen this. You seen it pop up on your phone? Yeah. Yeah. I think they fucked up the bumper. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, 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 okay, okay. Zo, bijna de achterkant eraf. Oh, oh. that wasn't that. Oh. Really, that was the that was the person on the motorcycle. It was definitely the motorcycle yeah. guy problem because yeah. Like, how did you not? It was see just him? timing, though. I feel yeah. like just timing. Yeah. I don't think the motorcycle person was paying attention yeah. and thought that this guy from the. Jerk. Yeah. Yeah, it was just Dang. wrong wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah, that's terrible. But then I'm like, at the same time, did the guy the guy in the car, did he see the guy coming up the sidewalk on the motorcycle? Yeah, he should yeah. have been looking in his passenger. So it's kind of b- b- two, two people. Yeah, both of them are at fault here because the motorcyclist should have looked up and him, he didn't even have his Ooh, indicator. Like, you see the indicator? It's not on. Go back some more. True. Okay, so True. he here. So a motorcycle guy got to be probably coming. Alright, I'm gonna let it play. Huh? He comes okay, out. So he coming. And if I'm a motorcycle guy, I'm like, no okay, he ain't, he ain't trying to come turning. He, yeah, he on look, that like. Right no no go. indicator. Wow. Oh, motorcycle guy was going too fast. Yeah. You can hear. You can hear yeah. his um to break his brake. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But he he was breaking at the last second, yeah. so he it, wasn't really paying attention. Yeah, it, it kind of happened way too fast. Yeah. But he gonna hurt them. Motorcycle man can't yeah, stop. I feel like if he had seen the the indicator, if he had the indicator on it, probably. I wouldn't. mean, maybe, but you are supposed to always be alert on the motorcycle, like. Yeah, that's true. He should have been paying attention. Yeah. Once I see that that front wheel curving, curving, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna. To yeah, but he was yeah. going too fast to stop. That's the problem. You can, yeah. He was going way too fast. So, yeah. Yeah, that was his fault. Y'all motorcycle gonna people him always him trying to speed. Slow down. <laughs> what? That's Brings true. us to another clip. Right? Yeah. He's going to probably be in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's not that one. Okay. This one here is what? Terrifying encounter. Hiker gets chased up a tree by a bear. Oh. Mm-hmm. So I tell you, I ain't going to them white countries, but not even. I, I want to go, Wyoming. you know. I want to go camping. Camping. Yeah. I want to go camping, hiking, all that. Just but not. Just know I'm going to have that gun. I need to be in the cabin. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't trying to be no, out. I ain't going to lie. The bears and shit, that scares me because it's like, yeah. if it's during the day, yeah. yeah, it's it's not so bad. But I can see. Nighttime? Yeah. I mean, daytime too. They know everything. Ain't I just supposed to stay still? Too. Just act dead, daytime, right? Daytime, you can outrun Nah, because I don't see... Or zigzag, or wait. Zigzag, zigzag. Try to climb up. If you climb up, mm-hmm. like, up a, like, a elevated, like, mm-hmm. surface, they're not going to run up as fast as mm-hmm, you are. Mm-hmm. I mean, not as fast, but they can still... They can still get up. Yeah, they can still get up there. They ain't got no repellent. <laughs> No bear repellent. Get your ass away. Them bullets. <laughs> Them bullets. Them bullets don't repel you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my well, goodness. Well, no. No. Uh, he wasn't oh, even high enough. He was high enough. <laughs> <laughs> Bear's like, hey, come that, that nigga like, yeah, nigga, you ain't no, you right oh, there. Oh, he, bear going up he climbing up. She said, oh, you think you could get away from me? Oh, boy? heck no. Come here, watch, watch. Oh, no. Watch your boy. Mm-hmm. Come here, boy. Oh, Sorry, man. Ben, Ben. Yeah, get lucky, boy. Mm-mm. <laughs> get lucky, boy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that little shoe is dangling at that. You trying to bite that damn like, Come here. Come, 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 come down here. <laughs> He, that man had enough time to be up that tree. That bear That's was not even on that tree at first. I thought the bear was going to climb up with his ass. He like, thought I was going down. He started. Yeah. He, was. he just yeah. couldn't keep his weight on that. He was <laughs> down. <laughs> oh, shit. oh, my oh, God. Fuck. Oh, yeah. This is the way. Okay, another one. Oh. Motorcycle problem. What? This Crash. Was a big mistake. Motorcyclists thought it would be a good idea to beat a red light and gets wiped out instantly. 
No. This is why I don't want to ride no yep. motorcycle. Not, this is why I don't try to catch no. the, the, I mean, the light it before ain't even it about turns. Motorcycle. Or as soon as my light oh, go green, I never a, take off because... If it's yellow, I'm going to do it. If it's, yellow, I'm gonna do if it's a working yellow light, I'm taking it. But... <laughs> <laughs> But if that thing not hit red, I am not still going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. I mean, if it's been yellow for too long, it ain't going. It ain't going. <laughs> like if, I'm, if, if it's, it's been yellow, if it's like been yellow for, a and minute, I'm like midway and coming up, yeah, don't you take might it. as well just nah. Like if it was green and it's, th- I think he taking he running lights. Look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> he's running. He's running like Definitely. because he's not in Definitely. agreement with, with us with the slowing down <laughs> at the way you already. Way, it man. was already yellow for Wait twenty way, seconds. <laughs> <laughs> he's taking it. Hey, man, uh, yeah. Listen, if y'all look know Jay Stu, <laughs> look out for that driver, guys. If y'all know Jay Stu. Always wear your seat belt in this man car. <laughs> Bro. <Bruh>. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, y'all funny, y'all. Funny. You said I'll it. I plead the fifth. He said it, y'all. I mean, run it, run it back a few. He said he going through the lights. <laughs> I ain't said that. <laughs> <laughs> you won't catch me. <laughs> to all cops and lawyers that in the video, they lying. Oh man. <laughs> hey. He didn't say it, but it was implied. <laughs> I plead the fifth. That's all I gotta say. Let's see you. Oh yeah. Oh, oh shit! Yeah. I'm surprised the car kept driving after that. That was all of that. Motorcycle gone. Whole motorcycle disassembled. Just broken into. Oh my gosh. That motorcycle Damn. broke like it was a toy. Wow. That, that because hurt. he was really going no, really he, fast. Yeah, he was going fast. I don't know. Yeah, is he? I don't. I'm He's sorry. Dead. Jeez. God, you know, God rest his soul. Uh, obey the That's speed limit out here, y'all boys. Please, everybody be don't safe. Don't run the red lights. Do not uh, run the red light. It's not worth it. Leave early if you're late. <laughs> <laughs> Leave early if you're late. See you early if you late. <laughs> I don't know how you gonna do that, but just just put an alarm to to leave earlier. Yeah, <laughs> most definitely. Leave out an hour before. Hey, I already explained the J Stu. If you already late, <laughs> what's the point of rushing? Yeah, just I'm late. <laughs> That's true though. He just trying uh, to reduce no. how many minutes. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you know what, what it is at that point. I ain't trying to get there. If I said four o'clock, I ain't trying to get there. 4.30. But 4.15-ish. So. 4.15-ish. I'm going to need you to leave at like 3 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Base traffic. If, if the GPS say it's going to take you 30 minutes, you need to leave 30 extra minutes. 30 so that way sides. you you will be there on time. Because <laughs> we might have stuff like this going on yeah. where people trying to run red lights and then not traffic back them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. True, true. Facts. Crazy. Facts. So, last but not least, it says, this can't be real. Dude flies a drone. It's like, oh, flies. Dude flies a drone to catch his girlfriend cheating on him, and this is how it played out. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. The man say, I'm going to find out. That boy got a drone. That boy said, I'm going to spend that Wanna money. Gun? Instead of spending that six hundred dollars for a gun, I'm gonna spend on a drone. Hey, wait, I'm gonna catch you on a candy camera. He ain't gonna deny this. I'm going one more right now. I've been watching the up on the drone. Come, coming from where? Hey, Britt. Hey, Britt. Hey, hey, real quick, quick, look up. You, you see me? You see me? Wait, wait to the camera. Wait to the camera. Get a drone from it don't, it don't matter. Oh, 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 Where did you get a drone from? So he owned the Bro, phone. You gonna lead a kid? He owned the phone and the drone at the same time. You gonna lead a kid? Who, who that's who that's a dude kid? You're following me with a drone? Bro, see, we all we all the way got you on camera, bro. All the way got hey. you on camera. All the way got you on camera. This nigga is all the way got you on camera. In the parking lot. Go, go, go back and get the kid, bro. You left the kid right here. Bro, go get your go get your dude's kid, bro. You got one more, right? You got one more, right? Nigga, sound like a dispatcher. I can't. I'm. I can't with dispatcher. 
He's hey. talking about go back and get your hey. dudes, kids. So, sir, you got too hey. much time on your day. Yeah, this nigga need to be a dispatcher, bro. That's, <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. He different, man. <laughs> I know. This was a premeditated. Y'all, y'all, this is a premeditated thing. Yeah. This what y'all made me come come and do it. Yeah, y'all, y'all, nah. yeah. Thanks. Women. Not the. Not the men that are secure. They don't do that. Yeah, but y'all they, men they just like, do some off the wall skin. No, trust hey, me. Trust me. I, Bought a hey, whole drone. Women to are the, his woman. women are way sneakier than men. Oh yeah. So sometimes yeah. you got Sometimes you got to go to that extent. To this find is creative. Out what you need. This is creative, <laughs> no, it's guys. It's very creative. But I like y'all ain't heard the silliest story I ever heard. What? So it was back in Jamaica, right? And um, I had this friend. He was talking to this girl for about three years. Is this true that it was a friend and not you? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just trying to tell people to tell a story. They be yeah, like, oh, yeah. my friend. It was my friend, but it, but it was you. me the whole time. Just, disclaimer. Okay, I got no, you. No, no. But me personally, I ain't never been cheated on. So, you know, I, I thank God for that. Mm-hmm. I ain't never had to go through that. But on um, his side now, it was kind of like, I was kind of the guy who was talking to this girl. And mm-hmm. I didn't know they were together. I didn't I found this out later. Yeah. So... I was kind of like talking to her. She would always come to my little basketball games or whatever. Yeah. And I remember he was like, because remember, it's my friend. He'd be like, yo, I think my girl's cheating on me. (laughs) And he's like, you know, she just, there's just certain times of the day where I can't get her. And then there was this one time I called her and this nigga was on, nigga was like, I can hear this nigga in the background. And I was like, I was like, hey, bro, so let me tell you what you got to do is like, We'll set it up, right? We'll set it up where you tell you tell her to go to the cafeteria, mm-hmm. and then you kind of like bring me, you know, like bring me, and we'll, we'll like we'll try to see like if we can catch the guy. So he's like, "All right, let's do that." So me and him were waiting, and then like she goes to the cafeteria or whatever, mm-hmm. and then like he calls her on the phone. He's like, "Hey, I'm gonna be late in class or whatever." So. She's like, oh, okay, so we're not going to eat lunch together anymore? He's like, no. So we're sitting there watching her. Keep in mind, we're out there in plain sight. So she hangs up. Then she immediately gets on the phone. <laughs> and she's calling. She's like, he's like, he's he going to call a dude now. So <laughs> she called, and my phone rang. I, like, I didn't put two and two together right away. Yeah. Oh, so my I was like, I, I, I looked at my phone. And I like started sweating. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I'm the other dude. I'm the other dude. Oh shit, that's crazy. <laughs> that's some crazy shit, bro. Hey, let me call, let me call my other dude at your your phone ring what? right beside the friend. I just played that shit off so quick. I was like, oh, my grandma caught me, bro. Hold on. <laughs> 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 did he ever know or did y'all ever get to that no, point? No, I went I went and told her I was like, listen. This nigga in my class, bro. Like, I can't have no no smoke in the class. <laughs> yeah. So I'm done talking to you because he 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 was hot on the trail today. Dang. And she's like, she's like, what are, what are you guys doing? He's like, so I ain't gonna lie. He wanted me to like, we're sitting there watching you, thinking, like you're gonna inspired. So she immediately broke up for him because mm-hmm. broke up with him because of lack of trust, which right. is funny. Because you, you, you are the reason not to trust you. Yeah, <laughs> like that he is was hilarious. right. But you gonna break up with that's me? That's hilarious. Right. <laughs> Dang. Dang. So that's why I say women sometimes y'all they're dangerous. I ain't gonna lie. What? It's a dangerous way, both yeah. ways. She put just... the Karen on that boy and flipped the skirt. <laughs> 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 oh my god! Oh, you're not, you're not, you're not gonna be here for lunch. No problem. Dang. Jeez. Oh my god. Jeez. She switched it skirt. up. Oh, that's funny as hell. <laughs> what? But that's funny that you went through that, though. <laughs> no, nah, listen. That whole time I was just here, like paranoid. Like I was like, what if he finds out about it? Yeah. <laughs> like now, class gonna be like. Awkward. You know, awkward. It'll be tension. Right. Tension. Yeah. Exactly. Like for nothing. Especially when he already felt like, dang, I think she is. And he talking to you. What? And you the is. Oh, <laughs> we fan. <laughs> no, we in, in Jamaica, though, in Jamaica, seriously, though, um, cheating is, is like punishable by death. Like um, one of my classmates. But yeah, the Jamaican men in America, I guess the rule different. No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the rule. 
No, it, you Definitely. can be a Jamaican man. I was just about to say. A Jamaican what? man in America? Mm. Hey, but hold on, hold on, hold on. I was just in about Jamaica, say, in Jamaica, what? when they cheat, they can just run to the bushes. Nobody ever find them again. Here in America, you kill somebody, you're going to prison. <laughs> There's no <laughs> hiding. <laughs> that shit over with. <laughs> so they yeah. have to they have to behave themselves up here. You know what I'm saying? They have to do. They can do whatever they want up here, but. Like down there in Jamaica, where you tiptoe. you're worried about that. Like, <laughs> yeah, I think I told you like one of my classmates. Um, his name was Damar, God rest his soul. But me and him, we were close, and we had this one girl in our class name. I'm not even gonna drop her name. She was in there, and <laughs> I'm telling you, this girl, she wasn't the most pretty girl. Mm-hmm. But one thing about her was she always was smiling. Mm-hmm. Like she, her, she had such a smile that it made you find her more attractive. More attractive, right? Yeah. So, so I had smile was her asset, okay? So, <laughs> like him and her, they were always like parting. They were cool. So I thought, you know, like all right, that's his little girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Turns out she had a boyfriend already <laughs> yeah. in oh another goodness. school. And this nigga was a fucking scammer, gangster, gangster nigga. Oh my god! So when he found out that this guy was sleeping with his girl, he had to stab them up in the taxi cab, killed him. Yeah, yeah, he because he he bought that life. He, he said he he was bought that life and in 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 yeah, we gotta like, remove the, the extra. But it's right. like killing for a girl is yeah the the, the re- people and the re- decisions that they make and and the things that they do yeah. that's how i say love is a crazy thing yeah but not enough to make you go sit and do some time for <laughs> yeah. somebody yeah. i'm gonna need you yeah, to think about no. find you find yourself back find go to the episode show. because go back to find yourself if you don't if if it's me or you i'm gonna I'm have to leave because i'm not gonna ruin my life, life. because you don't want to be with me Facts. yeah you or chill. you don't want to value me i'm a i'm a Exactly. Nah. Right. It's the next person that I can't find. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. There, there's no reason for it to escalate to those levels. So. That's crazy. Y'all, take domestic violence seriously. And if you yeah. are going through a domestic dispute, seek therapy. And yes. Also, Walk away if you can before yeah. it even escalates to certain right. things. It's not worth it. Women, <laughs> don't put your hand on no man. We can't be the man. So don't be trying to run up in his face and, right. and triggering him. And then he knock you behind definitely, to the side. Definitely. So it goes both ways. Because it it's yeah. violent. It's women who the start you know how to start it up. Right. And then men who... And it's verbal. Yeah. With women, yes. it's more verbal. Because you feel me? When a man is connected to a woman, it's more like they've already poured their heart in yeah it. yeah mm-hmm. and women know those but those buttons to push, buttons to push yeah. mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying yeah and so when it when it gets violent they don't like to look at what they did or what right. they said it becomes one-sided and yeah. instead of trying to look at both sides yeah yeah, yeah. but anyways Say no to abuse. we sprinkled a little bit of domestic violence in just a little bit <laughs> Uh, this has been a great podcast. Thanks for coming on, Lori. Of course, of yes, course. Ma'am. Thank you guys for having me. Yes. All right, guys. We're out. We're out. It's another podcast. <laughs> Episode 40. Big Most four stuff. zero, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. <sighs> dun, dun, dun. Oh, that, was <laughs> that was fun, guys. Yeah.